I grew up in a difficult uh, family with its own struggles. And the way that I learned to cope with that difficult family was by hurting myself. I discovered um, one day, running a pencil sharpener blade over the back of my hand, that that calmed me down. Actually, it made me able to go to sleep. And that discovery shaped um, how I regulated my emotions for uh, the next 13 years. And it got worse. So self-harm was the normal way that I knew how to regulate myself. And I also knew it was getting worse and it couldn't continue. So something different had to happen. I was really lucky to find a psychotherapist who gently and gradually helped me learn to express how I felt in words. And what that meant was in that relationship where I was learning to use my words rather than hurt myself, eventually I didn't need to self-harm. So that was really powerful that that new experience had stopped me self-harming when it was experienced in the first place that had got me into it. So I went back to university and I learned about neuroscience and I learned how experiences shape brains. And it seems to me that I adapted to that early environment just as I then adapted to the new experience of psychotherapy. And that's why I do this work now. Experiences shape brains for better and worse. I wasn't weak and I wasn't sick. I was just hurt and I needed some help.